Hello and welcome to Lankawi. This is Nautilus Yacht Management and today we are going to show you this absolutely lovely little privilege 43. She belongs to a couple who we have known for many years. Uh, in fact, they bought another boat from us many years ago, which they sailed extensively and then ended up selling through us and then went to Mexico to buy this little beauty. They sailed across the Pacific and then into Australia and then uh, up towards Indonesia and Thailand and eventually Langkawi. When they first set up from New Zealand many years ago, when they purchased the monohull that we sold them, uh, they were thinking of sailing maybe for about three years and uh, exploring the Pacific. But their journey had taken them a lot further uh, and they ended up spending many more years on the water. They absolutely love the cruising life and I can understand why. They are amazing with looking after boats and bringing boats to absolutely their very, very best. They've also done some deliveries for us on their free time, which has been absolutely Absolutely awesome. They took amazing care of all the boats we put in, in under their their skipper ship. You have probably heard of the privileged catamarans. They have been chosen by cruising families such as Sailing Zatara for their amazing performance, strength and friendliness when you have a lot of people on board and everybody needs some privacy. In spite of the 43 foot, she's actually a very big boat. There is five cabins, although two are being used for storage, workshops, etc. Alright, two is her name. She comes fully loaded with all the toys you would want to enjoy your life on the water, including all the full sets of diving gear and a dive compressor and a kayak and a lot of fishing gear which is very high quality. She has five cabins, also two of them are being used for storage. She has additional freezers and fridge, she has a washing machine, a water maker, a five kilowatt generator and she's one of the rare models that actually has sharp drives instead of sail drives. So if you don't want any additional mechanical things uh, to service and that can go wrong, this is one of the rare models that you can find on the market at the moment. She's super lovely, she's very fresh and clean, she's been taken care of incredibly well and now is your chance so please get in touch. In the meantime let's have a look around and meet with her owners. Thanks for watching! Hi and welcome to Aura 2. She's a 43 foot privilege catamaran and she was built in France. We bought her in San Diego and from there we sailed down the Baja Peninsula, out into the Sea of Cortez, uh, down mainland Mexico uh, to El Salvador and from there we turned to starboard and came across the Pacific and spent some time in French Polynesia which was wonderful. And then across to American Samoa, Fiji, New Caledonia, Australia, uh, Indonesia, and now we're in Malaysia. You know, we've had a fantastic time and, and all along that journey, the boat's been safe and, and comfortable. When we first bought the boat, we were specifically looking for a privileged catamaran. We've, we know the boats, we've delivered a couple um, internationally, so we know that they're safe, comfortable boats that sail well. And this boat's no exception, so she sails well to windward, she sails well downwind. She's got a high bridge deck clearance, so we don't get the slamming that, that some catamarans do. And she's really easy to single hand, so, so one person can sail this boat comfortably from the cockpit. You'll see when we have a look around the cockpit, all of the controls are, are easily at hand. Uh, she's a good, safe, comfortable boat, and we'll miss it. And the reason we uh, were looking for a catamaran in the first place was that uh, we've had monohulls before and I feel so much safer, I'm happier, I'm more relaxed and so the skipper is more relaxed if I am and um, you know, I really, I've really enjoyed her. So um, it's time for new challenges for us and, um, and the reason we're selling is that you know we've achieved our sailing goals um, we actually we've overachieved we, we've done so much more than we ever thought we would and, and it's time for some some new challenges for us and we need to find a good owner for the boat and, and somebody that the boat will look after and they'll look after the boat and um, come on let's let's have a look okay around. so this is our cockpit this is where we spend the majority of our time to be honest um, it's really comfortable um, we have some shades that come down and protect everything from the sun this table folds up and we can see a lot of people around this table. We've had a lot of fun around this table. Um, we've got some new covers on the squabs here and uh, plenty of seating. We've had 10, 15 people seated around here and it's no trouble at all. Regarding sailing from here, 
these are the primary sheet winches um, for the jib and uh, the sheet the lines come down and run through here um, really easy to sail single-handedly from here really safe to be inside the cockpit you can control the main sheet and you can control the jib when we've got the code zero up we will also run these lines back to these winches here so really safe really easy to single handle Underneath all of these seats we've got storage, we've, um, we keep our snorkeling gear under here and some cleaning gear in that one. Over this side here we've got a six man life raft in a soft cover and that sits under there. And this is a gas locker for the LPG that's vented outside. Back here aft, underneath here is the generator, the Northern Lights 5 KBA generator. Okay, welcome to the helm station. So we've got a Garmin MFD here. Um, wind instrument, we have a spare control head for that as well. Autopilot, we have a spare control head, plus a spare ram, plus we have uh, autopilot remotes for that one. Over to the depth instrument here, we have this one. There's also a depth and display on the inside at the chart table. Anchor windless switch so you can control the anchor from the helm station. Engine remotes coming down here for engine controls. We've got two Yanmar um, engine controls and bilge pump um, controls there. And we have a VHF remote waterproof remote here. So everything we need really. A big wheel. Hi, welcome to the deck. Um, on the deck we've got Kiwi Grip. It's a really good product. It's really secure under feet. Um, it stays cool when the weather's hot, so it's a fantastic product. We've got that all through the deck. While we're here, let's have a look at the rigging. We've got a little bit of stainless rigging, and that's the uppers here and the four stays, and the rest has been replaced with Dyneema. Fantastic pre stretched Dyneema, um, really light, really strong. It's taken a whole lot of weight out of um, the up at the top. We'll move on forward. Oh, we've got. Um, Got an Iridium Go antenna and an antenna for the AIS. Yeah, we find that's a good place for them out of the way of any lines. Uh, while we're here, we'll have a look at some solar. So, up on the hard top here, we've got three solar panels and they run off their own outback controller. And then, right up on top of the dinghy davit, we've got three 180 watt panels and are also run by a separate controller. mainsail is stored in a stack pack um, when it's not in use. The mainsail is from Zoom Sales 2020, fantastic condition. Coming forward, we've got a kayak here that also goes with the sail. Um, we've got a few toys, we've got some fishing gear and some diving gear and the kayak and, uh, and we'll have pictures of all those available. Trampolines are in fantastic condition. We've replaced um, all of the ties in the last year, so that's um, nice and safe and secure. Anchor, we have a Mantis 25 kilo anchor with 80 meters of chain. Uh, there's also a spare fortress anchor with its own chain and rope road. Anchor windlass is a Lofrens 1000 watt with foot switches here and switches a manual switch at the helm. Again, the other trampoline, fantastic condition, new ties all the way around. What we have up the front is a couple of crash bulkheads. Um, the other one's exactly the same as this. We'll have some pictures of these. These um, have bilge pumps in them should the worst occur. Now this is our dinghy, so this is a Zodiac 3.3 meter dinghy um, with a 4 stroke 15 horse Yamaha engine that is 2 years old. And we find this dinghy really comfortable, really safe, um, it's a nice dry boat. You can carry 3 people in dive gear and get up on the plane no problem. We love it, it's like our car. 
So the salon I love because it's light and airy, it's comfortable, there's good indoor-outdoor flow. Um, we've got uh, the hatch that gives a good breeze through here. Uh, lots of storage under the seating. Uh, also under the seat we've got a drinks fridge, a pull-out drawer. So that saves people from going down into the galley to get a cold drink. Um, so they can uh, come and go as they're pleased with that. Um, connection with both the nav station and the galley and um, and the panels on the on the window protect us from the heat and um, I really like this space. Welcome to the nav station. Um, in terms of navigation we plan our navigation on a, on a tablet and then send it wirelessly through to the multi-function displays, the Garmin displays. Um, so we've got one of each here. Uh, we've got a Vespa Marine AIS system that's also excellent for an anchor alarm. Coming down the bottom here, we've got a stereo here that's got speakers both indoor and outdoor. Iridium Go for satellite communications, USB chargers, VHF radio that has a loudspeaker outside and also a remote to the helm station. Zantrax battery monitor there to keep an eye on the state of the batteries. And this one here is a remote for the 3000 watt Zantrax inverter and it's a 110 volt. Over to the electrical control panels, we have a 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt, and a 110 volt panel. Spinning around over here, we've got the tankage monitors here, and this little thing's an auto tether, so when you're on watch at night, you clip part of it to you, and if you fall off, an alarm goes off, so really good for safety. So this boat is um, really well set up for short-handed sailing, and that's just one of the safety features we've got. We've also got personal AIS systems that clip to the, the, the life preservers. And this is our galley, which I really love. I love all the space, bench space, cupboard, storage, shelving. Uh, we've got the double sinks, which are a good size, a swivel tap faucet there, um, a saltwater uh, tap as well. We have a three burner gas stove and oven, which works really efficiently, and a new fridge with a freezer compartment. Um, I really like the connection with the salon as well. Uh, you don't feel disconnected with the people while you're in the, in the galley. And yeah, it's really workable and functional. I really love it. This is our port aft cabin and previously used as accommodation but we have it for storage and it has uh, plenty of cupboard space as well we actually have our soda stream linked up to a gas cylinder here the basin uh, storage in the step and in the hanging locker behind we also have our microwave here and my beloved reliable Barracuda sewing machine, a heavy duty sewing machine, which is um, really useful for when you've got repairs on your sails or whatever heavy duty things that you need to, to uh, tackle. Um, I'm sorry to let it go, but it is going with the boat. And this is Sailrite compatible. We have spare parts that we've got from Sailrite as well. And um, it's a, a, it is a reliable machine. So the port forward cabin and again a lovely comfortable double bed and nice air coming through from the hatch, nice and light. This one has a full hanging wardrobe and a couple of drawers and lots of cupboard space once again, four cupboards under the bed and an ensuite. So the port forward cabin ensuite, this one actually has a composting toilet. Again, lots of cupboard space, light and airy, plenty of air coming through the hatch. And this is the one where we use the shower the most when we're not using the outside shower. So the starboard hull and plenty of storage, which I love. So cupboards all along here and here. We've got the head here laundry and freezer. It's uh, 120 litre isotherm. It works very efficiently. I'm very happy with that as well. So this is our laundry cupboard and I'm absolutely wrapped with our washing machine. It is uh, takes a good load. 
Uh, it has made such a difference to our cruising experience. Uh, we can do laundry whenever we want. Uh, we've got a good water maker that feeds it and um, it, it saves costs when doing laundry um, on land. Um, also got a Dyson stick vacuum, which is brilliant. So the starboard forward cabin and lots of light here and breeze from the hatches, got a couple of fans, lots of storage, hanging locker, uh, cupboards under the bed as well. So the ensuite for the starboard forward cabin, plenty of light, plenty of storage, electric toilet and shower behind the door and good breeze from the hatch here. So this is a aft starboard cabin. This is the cabin that we've used as a guest cabin before now. Uh, light and airy, um, ventilation from the hatches. We've got a, a wardrobe, a hanging wardrobe here and cupboards with a uh, basin and mirror and a fan. And this is the head next to the guest cabin, light and airy and electric toilet and facility to have a shower. This is the cabin that's accessed from the deck. We call this cabin five and predominantly we use it for storage. So we have a dive, culture dive compressor in here and our dive tanks, um, plenty of storage up here. But if you wanted to turn it back into accommodation, it's, um, it's big enough for a double bed, so plenty of room. Welcome to the port engine room. Um, in addition to the engine, we've got the hot water cylinder and two of the six AGM house batteries. And we had a start battery here for this engine. So this boat has two Yanmar 3YM30 engines and they are shaft drive with fixed props. Um, in this engine room, we also have one of the solar controllers. It's an Outback solar controller. Um, this engine goes well. The engines use about two litres an hour at about 1,900 revs. We set at about 1,900 revs. Um, and the boat does about five and a half knots. Um, with no adverse current waves or wind. This is the starboard engine room. So in addition to the second Yanmar 3YM30 engine, we've got four of the AGM house batteries and we've got a water maker that uh, produces around 90 litres of fresh water depending on salinity and temperature of the water. And we have the other solar controller. This is our village marine water maker. Um, we had the high pressure pump rebuilt in 2022 I think. Um, it does 27 gallons an hour. Um, it's just fantastic to have so much water. You know fresh water is just really important and we don't have to scrimp or save with water. We can flush our dive gear, we can wash the decks. It's, um, we, we have more than enough water for, for our needs. Okay, so this is a short overview of the beautiful Aura 2. If you would like to know more about the boat without flying to Langkawi, we can happily arrange for you to connect with the owners via WhatsApp 
if you would like a private video tour of the boat. For any information, our email address is, at the, is on the end of this video. You can also have a look on our website at nautilusyachtmanagement.com. Their address is also at the end of this video. And you can also click on the YouTube link into the video description to be able to access the Yacht World advert, which will have all of the specifications and inventory for this boat. All right, she is available now. Her owners are on board and will stay on board until the boat is sold. So they'll be there to receive you if you come to have a look and also to assist with uh, the survey, sea trial and a proper handover where they will show you how everything works on the boat and make sure that you feel safe and uh, stress-free with your transition as a new liveaboard cruising sailor. So this is what we're here for, to help you on this journey and to help you make your dreams come true. So please don't hesitate to get in touch with our friendly team. My name is Anna. You can get me on WhatsApp at plus six one four two zero eight eight two two nine six. Text me, message me, send me voicemail. I will respond as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Thank you.